We are going to install a SCR, Selective Catalytic Reduction um, Equipment, which was been designed and specified by Main Diesel and Turbo. And uh, yeah, we are going to retrofit actually an existing engine with the new equipment, which will inter interfere a lot of, uh, let's say, steel work and, and rebuilding of the funnel and the equipment, the exhaust gas piping and so on. We are very pleased with our cooperation with MIN. By letting MIN test their catalytic reactor on board our ship, we are once again contributing to developing new environmental technologies and equipment. In this case, it's a very compact reactor that are placed into the ship's funnel and built together with the auxiliary engine in order to remove nitrogen oxides from exhaust gases. install our new SCR reactor just right where the people are standing on the scaffolding right now. So they will build up the scaffolding there, they will cut a hole, they will take out this, the big place, this big steel plate and take out piece by piece the existing exhaust gas piping. The main challenges of this job is actually it's an existing ship as you can see. So we're not starting with the planning from the scratch and can build the ship as we like to. So we have an, 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 yeah, an equipment and a ship which needs to be adjusted in a way that we can yeah, bring our, our system, our equipment in the ship. That means we have to cut out the funnel, I mean take a big hole in the big funnel in the structure, uh, take out the existing exhaust gas piping bringing our, bring in our new exhaust gas piping with mixers and everything and install the new SCR reactor. The engine conversion takes about uh, one week. The installation of all parts in the funnel will take about one and a half, two weeks to prepare everything, the piping and so on. And after all the installation work was done, maybe we need two or three more weeks for commissioning the whole system. We start today on the 2nd of August and we have to be finished by Wednesday, which is the 8th of August. And uh, after that, the equipment must be inside, the funnel must be closed so that the vessel can go back sailing, otherwise we are running into trouble. The reason for the installation is that we get new emission regulations in 2016 and to get experience with the system we have to start some years earlier. The overall goal is to show that we are able to design a reliable and uh, uh, efficient uh, SCR system together with our engine. It's mainly to show that we can optimize this whole system because we are the experts on the engines and now we are experts on the SCR system so we combine these competences, this know-how and bring up a complete new IMO Tier 3 system meaning engine plus SCR as one MAN system and to show this and to show that it is reliable that's the main target of this field test.
We have another equipment uh, like a dosing unit, pumps, uh, urea pumps. Uh, we have got an uh, exhaust gas measuring equipment. This needs to be installed as well. And this might take uh, some more days. So let's say uh, all in all, maybe 10 days to install the whole equipment. That's what we will need. But it looks like we're having a good partnership here and it looks like we can make it in, in, in the time as, we, as, as it is planned. Well, the progress of the work goes quite well. We are in time and I think we can start the engine tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Hopefully this will lead to viable technologies and equipment that efficiently could remove nitrogen oxides from the main engines as well. The reactor can then be an integrated part of the main engines that are to be installed in new buildings after 2016. This will definitely be a benefit for DFDS and other ship owners in reducing their emissions and complying with future regulations. installation works quite well, no problems. The advantage of this system is that we, we have uh, the opportunity to make the whole system uh, smaller than um, what we have seen on the market so far. Especially sizing, exhaust gas temperature control, that's what we're going to do with the engine and a proper mixing of the urea and the exhaust gas. This is what we optimize on a test bed and that's what we are going to show on this field test. After the successful completion of the uh, confirmation tests, Scheme B, together with the classification societies, we are now here for a 1000 hour inspection of the engine and the SCR. Now the engine and the SCR uh, has 1000 running hours uh, since the commissioning and we are uh, looking for the internal parts of the SCR. So for that we open some uh, inspection covers and before and after the first and last layer of the SCR and we check the uh, appearance of the, of the internal parts of the SCR. checking the stones and the condition of the uh, reactor, we will um, check down the nozzle. Uh, I think we in tomorrow morning. And um, then we also will check the, the area between the, the nozzle and the reactor, so the, the mixing area. And, uh, last point will be also to have a look into the SACOS-1, because uh, the SCR system is controlled by uh, SACOS-1, so it's, I think that's one of the biggest advantages uh, this system has in comparison to the system of the competitors. The future is uh, the next ex uh, inspection at 3000 and 6000 hours and if we pass it like now the 6000 hours then we will do a serial release of the SCR. So the crew told us uh, the SCR is running very good no alarms and so I expect no problems.